Well, are you a fan of this uh, fall-like temperatures? It definitely is nice to have the air conditioning off, the windows open, and enjoying some of that fresh air, but it has definitely been cooler than average, and that is the case still right now. Let's look at our temperatures, and we are 70 in Twin Falls, 66 in Stanley. Burns over there at 73, but there's a little bit of warmth trying to work its way into Portland. You can see there 85 degrees and 74 in Seattle. That's that high pressure that's going to drift its way in here uh, and settle over us for the weekend. It's going to help warm us up. Uh, also, but uh, not until probably not gonna see the 80s until the weekend. Satellite and radar all is fairly quiet from Coeur d'Alene, even down here into southern Idaho over towards Seattle and Portland. But one noticeable feature is this stalled boundary just south of Twin Falls, northern Nevada, northern Utah. That may play into things going into, say, your Saturday. We'll talk more about that, but there's a very tiny chance we may get a spot shower or two late in the day Saturday and into Sunday. As you see here, weather headlines, though, here's what we're looking at. Touch warmer for your Friday. We're looking ahead to the weekend. Overall, should be pretty nice. But again, as we mentioned, someone could get rain. Let's take you through your Friday here. Large area of high pressure off the uh, Pacific coast there. Warmer temperatures trying to come in on the backside of this uh, dip in the jet stream. We call this a trough that will slide its way on off towards the east. And eventually tomorrow will be a touch warmer than we were today. We'll get in the upper 70s. And then we're looking at warmer temperatures for the weekend. So let's take a look at those temperatures on your future cast here. Here we are starting things off first thing in the morning. 40s, maybe again like we had yesterday morning, a few 30s around as we start the day on Friday. By the afternoon, we've had the low 70s the last couple of days. We're looking to get back into the mid, maybe even upper 70s for high temperatures, but really looks great for the end of the weekend. Of course, those Friday night football games, the high school games, should be pretty nice. I would just take a light jacket or maybe a sweatshirt. Once that sun goes down, it gets chilly. As you look here for your Saturday morning, not as cold, but still a bit chilly. And then as we head into your Saturday afternoon, uh, yeah, we're starting to see more upper 70s and I think a lot more lower 80s as well. Tonight, we're going to go through the Wood River Valley, uh, clear and cold, 34 degrees. For the Magic Valley, you're down to 42. Definitely going to be on the chilly side with those clear skies and clear and chilly in the Minicasia region. We're bottoming out to about 37 for tomorrow. Wood River Valley, lots of sunshine. Nice 70 Ketchum, 71 Haley, 72 there in Cary, about 74 to, in Fairfield. Gooding, you're looking at 75, 82 Hagerman, 80 Wendell. Lots of sunshine. It's going to be another nice day. Still relatively cool compared to average. And we'll have the sun, sunny skies to greet you in Twin Falls. Twin Falls 78, 77 in Murtaugh. And then for the Minicasia region, 76 Burley, 74 Albion, 74 Malta. A really nice looking day. Winds light out of the northeast. But what about the next seven days? Oh, they're coming up right after the break. Okay, so you're officially off the clock. You better have a truck that can keep up. Ford F-150. From tailgating and touchdowns to suiting up and stepping out. It goes the distance with EcoBoost power and fuel economy. With all the slick details to keep you in the lap of luxury. Maybe that's why an F-Series truck is sold nearly every 42 seconds. Hey, get back to it, weekend warriors. Now get up to 8250 total savings or 0 for 60 plus 1500 trading cash on F-150. Take the worry out of your life so you can focus on what matters most. It's time to step up to Southern Idaho's most active retirement community, Bridgeview Estates. Join us for a seminar to protect your hearing now, Wednesday, September 10th at 2 p.m. Presented by Hearing Aid Counselors. There will be free hearing aid battery checks and replacements plus hearing screenings. Bridgeview Estates, Southern Idaho's most active retirement community. When Dr. Altenberg asked me if I'd show him the rope sometime, I was flattered. He figured I'd have him on the rodeo circuit in no time. I told him not to quit his day job. Dr. Altenberg replaced both my hips and made the time I spent in the saddle a whole lot nicer. I don't get to practice team roping with Dr. Altenberg very often, but you know, without him, I'd never team rope again. 
And on your middle cough, Auto Group 7 day forecast, 78 degrees Friday. Now there's that chance of showers we mentioned. That's mostly going to be isolated into the South Hills, the Albion Mountains. I know we have the Magic Valley Speedway again, and they've been off for the Labor Day weekend. Plus, they've had to deal with the rain too. So hopefully, will things? I think things will be dry. I'm not too concerned, but keep an eye on that. 83 degrees Saturday, 82 on Sunday, up to 85 Monday before another system brings a possibility of cooler temperatures and pleasant weather for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Then for the mountains. Uh, up to 78 to 80, 82 by Monday, and then it gets cooler Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And if there is a chance of showers in the mountains, it will be to the south and southern Twin Falls and southern Cashier County. There's a look at your forecast.